Hey YouTube, it's Wrong Way here. This is Wrong Ways Wyoming. Standing in front of a willow tree uh, here in Cheyenne at the Cheyenne Arboretum. This arboretum was uh, established first in the 1930s by the United States government. And they wanted to see and test what trees grew well in this kind of arid, rocky mountain environment. This tree is a encampment willow. It was transplanted here from Encampment, Wyoming, 1950. Been put in the ground in 1950. It's a very hot day here. We do have those in Wyoming, and this year's been a scorcher and with the wildfires. It's good to get underneath the shade, so I hope I'm not in too much shade because uh, I'll discuss the arboretum a little later and how to get here in another video. So if you're following me at all and you're interested in this stuff, I know I'm a beginner, so I have a lot of problems, and the name wrong way should explain quite a bit. But as I head out and I hike out of here and get back towards my truck, they have a little information center. I'll take some video of that and explain it, tell you how to get here. But right now, I'm not in, uh, up in the mountains like my videos of Brush Creek or something. I have made my own primitive bows. Uh, pretty successfully. They're not the most pretty thing in the world, but they will do what they're meant for. In a survival situation, if you're into that stuff, uh, how to make a bow is very important. So I lie here. I'm a little lighthearted on a lot of this stuff. So right now, today, I got this idea, and I thought I'd come out here to Arbitorium, and I'd show you how to make a bow and arrow. I've got my pack right over here. Let me grab the beginning of it. I'm going to take one balloon, I'm going to blow that up all the way almost. I like that. And from what I've uh, learned on YouTube, I'll let a little bit of that air out. It softens the balloon. Then you take and you soften it some more. And I'm going to take right up here, I'm going to make it's called little, let me get a little knot in here. This is a, I uh, have to get the name of it right now. There's a lot of really good balloon twisters on YouTube. Actually, there's one here in Cheyenne that we ran into at the county fair. It does really good balloon twisting. So me, I just sort of know how. do it a little bit. So, take the balloons, I've got the knots and poke, ah, oh. knots at both ends and twist them around at this end. Get them good and locked in there. Your bow's got to be strong enough. Now, I'm going to take, find the center spot here. And I'm going to do a double twist right there. And then that, you should end up with something like this. Let's set this down for a second. All these twigs and branches around here, a little nervous, set that on the ground. Okay, now I'm going to take another balloon. You know, your choice is the color. If you want to be camouflage, you could use green balloons. If you want to stand out, use fluorescent ones. Okay, now this one isn't as far. Four or five fingers on that end. I'm taking tie it off. Whoa. Stretch it. I'm going to take do one knot there, one twist there. I'm going to take my arm pieces and I'm going to set my balls right there, about a third of the way down, bring this around, match where it's at, twist that. Uh, this knot went out, no problem. Twist again. Never get upset. And you're twisting balloons. 
You know, I'm out here in the woods right now, having a good time, beating the heat. Mess around seeing if I can't get people to watch, maybe a clown. Oh, see? I was just saying, do not get upset that the balloon gets a hole in it or blows up. This is what you want to what you want to make sure. Just like the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. Always be prepared. So I've got another balloon. Once again, blow it about two-thirds of the way. One thing about the arbitorium here, talk about while I'm doing this too. After the government was done studying, they had a big orchard here. I have a plum tree in my yard that I got that came from them one of the top five uh, producing plum trees that they were studying out here. When their study was over, she brought bulldozers out here and just started knocking it all over. We're going to put it in a, like grassland uh, uh, studies and things like that. People in the town of Cheyenne spoke up about that. Come out here and got them to stop. One bubble. Got them to stop bulldozing it under. So let's do something with it. So now here we got, oh, when you see this, and I'll do some scan around after I'm done with this. Just a beautiful place to come. It's really great that people will go out and say, hey, wait, let's think about it. Let's save a tree. Once again, <laughs> and the fun part about bearing with me. I went and spent a couple dollars more and thought I was getting a better balloon for twisting than what I was getting. And it turns out I should have just went and got what I normally get. So they've been blowing up on me a little bit, but you know, like I say, don't cry about it. So one more try. Do a twist here. This is your handle on your bow. So Get the bow itself, line it up again, two-thirds of the way down, bring this around, just keep softening, soft. maybe then it won't break as much as the thought there. Do a twist here, a little bit of wind coming up, I'm going to adjust that on my microphone where the wind won't be so effective because we have a lot of wind in Wyoming. Okay, if I can successfully do that, I'm going to bring it down for the size of my hand. I'm going to do another twist. I'm going to bring that around, measure it to where I need my twist. Twist that again. Then twisting these two together. Now, I've been losing air in a few of them, have a little trouble. We will Take that part and tie it off. I'm going to show you what happened here. But it'll still work. Okay. Here where I was going to have my handle deflated. You know, bought the wrong balloons. Then what you do, inflate a couple times, just a balloon. You don't blow, you blow it up, you inflate it, and you keep letting the air out of it. You take that and tie that on here around a few times. That just locks everything in. Then, your handle is going to come down to this end. Do the same thing. Some wraparounds there. Now, just so I didn't have any other problems, you know, balloons blowing up and stuff like that, 
Well, we made the air. All you do is take a balloon, blow it up, about, you know, what size you want. Too long, too short, doesn't really matter as long as it fits in the bow. <coughs> tie it off the one end. Figure out how long you want to do, tie that off, cut that end. Now, what we have just done, we made a suitable bow. Do it this way. We made a suitable bow while we're out in the woods. Just in case a clown comes up on us, we can get him. This bow actually shoots. Hey, if you like this stuff, think about liking it, hitting that like button. If you don't like it, you got a comment about that, you think something's wrong, you know, get the right balloons guy or something like that. Make it nice, make it kind, you know. Think about subscribing. New station here, new channel here on YouTube. I mean, I've been watching YouTube for years. And all my adventures in Wyoming, I thought, man, if I would have had a camera back in the 70s, 80s, 90s, oh, what can we do? Well, I got a camera now, and I'm trying to give some stuff. You don't get around as much as I did back then, but I do believe I'll get you around Wyoming pretty good in the next couple of years. So, if you like it, give me a subscribe. Because if I get enough views and I get enough subscribers, I can start getting some money from YouTube and the advertisement there. That'll help me get around the state of Wyoming a little better to show you more of it. Let me go find my arrow and give you one more shot. Before I get to do this, remember YouTube, it's about art, it's about Wyoming, it's about being kind. Don't put a smile on someone's face today. See you later.